Well, hello there. I didn't see you. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. I think this is a good spot for doing something that I've been meaning to do. Um, so I put in, I put in my little, little border of deep slate tile slabs. I think these are deep slate tile slabs. Um, and I've got some deep slate, polished deep slate. I think I'll fill out. Oops. Ah, I think I'll fill out the inside with. Get back. Uh, and then I need to figure out lighting for this because it's going to get dark. But. Oh, come on. Um, let me fill this in. And we need more. We need more dripstone. So let's work on that. This, this whole section here is going to be dripstone related stuff. And I think it makes sense to start off with a dripstone farm. Um, because that's what we need. So let me get this filled in and we will um, set that up. Okay, so the next thing I need to do is figure out um, how high to build the next part. Check out these. I will need some lighting in here, but actually, no, that'll work. This will work for now. Um, I'm going to put a roof on here. And then I need, let's see. I'm going to put a roof because I need the next floor up for a different purpose and I want the interior of this to be covered with something oh right okay that's what I need this for the roof will be deep slate and this needs to be this um, dripstone block stuff. I want to cover all of this and then I need to make walls on it so that I can then fill it with water. And then place dripstone all over the bottom. And it'll grow down and or at least I have, I don't have enough pointed dripstone right now to do all this, but it should pretty quickly grow. Come on. And we will have more and then we can expand it. And then we'll have enough to build a, a larger lava farm and may as well do water um, it's just cauldrons and then in fact we could put cauldrons down on some of these here right I should have enough for all of this Okay, so, dripstone block, done. And then I want to take some drips polished. Let's see, I want to make some of these. I don't want polished cobblestone or deep slate, deep slate bricks. Let's use deep slate bricks. This part. Get some of those. And 
need to create a ring around this thing. Hey, cooperate. Let's see, it needs to look like that. Ooh, it's gonna be dark. Okay. That's fine. We'll put some more we'll put some more light down here for the time being. And we'll figure out a different lighting strategy. Uh, I may put some blocks down in the floor. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, now let's climb up top and grab some stuff. I didn't need nearly as many as I thought I needed. Okay. That's fine. Oh, uh, or do I need... Yeah, that's good. Now from here... We need water. And we have water. And I need to get out of here. Let's uh, do that. Okay. So now, I'm going to put this back. Now we're going to put a roof on here because I don't need any of this stuff to be accessible. Don't need turtles getting into it. And I don't need... I don't need to ever be able to get in here. So let me cover this up. Okay. So, now we have the roof on our little thing. And all I need to do... Hello, Mr. Turtle. You're not going to want to hang around there too much. Um, so I've got plenty of, I've got plenty of water. So I could put dripstone up on the ceiling and use that, I think. Um, and and this will start dripping and start to see particles come off of it. And I could put uh, cauldrons below to collect water. I don't need water. I've got plenty of water. I've got ice up the wazoo. Um, I could make um, an infinite water source down here if I needed. Stop messing with me, turtle. Um... So that's a lot of it. So these will start growing down and then they'll start dripping down here and growing up because this is less than 11 blocks. But in the meantime, oh, you can't go backwards on the dripstone block. Okay, well, good to know. So there we go. So we have a little bit of a dripstone farm. Um, let me go get some shroom lights. And put some shroom lights on the floor here. Just so you can see what's going on. Because it doesn't hurt to be dark here in the Mushroom Island. But it wouldn't uh, it'd be nice to be able to see what's happening. So let me grab some shroom lights and go back up there. Oh, and we already have one stalagmite. We can put that back up here and accelerate the growth. Oh, 
I'll be interested to see if I don't know. I, it needs to be a solid block for the um, for the the, the stalagmites to, to grow on, and I don't know if these stream lights are considered solid blocks or not. So we will find out. But we'll put let's put one here. Just want to be able to see what's going on. It doesn't need to. I don't need to be lit to keep mobs from spawning or anything like that. And they don't need light to grow. So I have I have one of these a small um, dripstone farm at the winter chalet. And they grow pretty slowly. But that's, I don't even remember, but I, I have maybe 20 dripstone going there. And I do this, it'll be almost four stacks worth. Uh, so it should just grow that much more. I should get that much more dripstone out of it as a result. Do I need to put some in the middle? I don't think so. I think this will be fine. So just a little patience and we will get some dripstone. Oh, and there's one growing down. Aha, come to me. So I'll just have to grind a little bit and capture these as they grow and uh, put them up and expand. And then it'll just get faster and faster. Very nice. Now the test will be to see if Dripstone can actually grow or these stalagmites can grow up on oops oh that was dumb that could have hurt uh see if the the dripstone stalagmites can start forming on these blocks if they can't it might be more efficient to uh, get rid of the lighting down below but it'd be nice to be able to see what's going on. But there you have it. So this will keep on growing. And I'll keep expanding it. And then we can put up another layer above with some lava. So I can start collecting more and more lava. And I can then, I could also do a layer with water cauldrons again i don't know that i need the water it's easier and quicker to just build a infant water source and i have plenty of ice uh, to do that with but i will need water and maybe this makes it worthwhile to do uh, because then the next thing and the reason i need the dirt is you can take the dirt and turn it into mud and if you place it above a block with dripstone on the bottom, the mud gets dried out to clay. And then you can either get clay balls, which are useful for making pots, or you can uh, use the clay to, uh, you can put it in a uh, furnace and turn it into terracotta. And then you got all, with all the colors, I've got all the different terracotta colors. So... Uh, and without having to go and like raid out a, a mesa somewhere and badlands, whatever they call them now. Um, so that, that should be a good thing. So, and I might play around with uh, harvest. Ooh, I'm missing one there. I might play around with harvesting these in a creative. Oh dear. What did we just do? Where did my, where did my uh, dripstone block go? it up in here oh oh that's interesting okay i accidentally put a block of deep slate tiles in there okay well i have other dripstone block blocks here oh and i must have picked it up up above it must have floated up so let's plug this hole there we go and replace the torches that got lost. So I have to be a little careful with um, 
<laughs> with the with my pickaxe. But no big deal. Um oops. Okay. So I might get a little creative in the harvesting aspect. I might want to do something like I think you can use pistons to, to harvest these. What was that one that was missing? Right here. Um, pistons, I think, can break them, cause them to fall. It's dramatic. I could also, I think, use flying machines. I've never really done a farm with flying machines. So this will probably be like the manual one, and then I might go somewhere else and build a large version of this where I have a flying machine go through and do all the harvesting. And then hopper mine carts to pick up the, the drops and that kind of stuff. So I don't know. We'll see. Um, so I'll have to do a test with a piston to make sure that the pistons can actually break these, but I'm pretty sure they can. So there we go. Anyway, so that's that's uh, step number one here. And I'll just collect the dripstone and build this out. And then once I have enough dripstone to do step number two, I'll probably go up one level above this. And... Build a, maybe build a lava farm here. Just a larger version of the lava farm that I have back at the Winter Chalet. I'll just layer the floor here with, with cauldrons or put them in rows. I have to figure out the right arrangement and do like strips of lava buckets up in the ceiling. Well, not buckets, but you know, lava, lava tub or something. Cover it so that it doesn't light everything on fire. And then uh, have just a whole mess of cauldrons down here so that the I can go and pick up buckets and buckets of lava and do that all here. Not that I need a ton of lava here underneath the Mushroom Island, but I think it will be helpful. Ah, we're at past. Well, Mr. Turtle, you're not going to want to be around here a whole lot, especially if I put flying machines in. So, anyway, so that's it. Just wanted to do a quickie little project to get something short and sweet. And there you have it. All right. Uh, thank you, everybody. Thank you for watching. This is Theron. It's been Minecraft Land Party. And I'll see you next time. All right. Bye.